Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first ever Pennywise haul. So I'm so excited to share with you guys all the stuff that I bought and I shopped at Pennywise Trinity which is one of out of the two um, locations where I usually shop. It's either Trinity or in Arima. So usually for Pennywise, I honestly don't spend a lot of money in Pennywise. I don't know how people can like spend so much money every month on Pennywise things but I guess it all depends on your your needs and for me I am a very simple person so I don't really have you know much needs. However this time I did ended up spending a little more than um yeah I usually do. So I will go through the stuff that I got and leave prices to each item as well as I'll share with you how much I spent in total. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so I have the things right here. So I bought the St. Ives Smoothening Oatmeal and Chair Butter Body Lotion last last month, which was December. I found this this scent, I believe it was in Arima, I shopped in and oh my god, this scent is so amazing. Oh, I love it. Um, I'm not sure if this is a new scent they have, but it was the first time I actually saw it in Pennywise. So I decided to try it out and I love it. So you should try out that scent if it is you're looking for a, a new scent in the St. Ives if it is you use it. So I bought some witch hazel, a big bottle. And y'all, when I came home, like I didn't, I was not washing, I was not watching the cashier when I was cashing. And y'all. You see the price for a bottle of witch hazel, right? Like, y'all. But anyways, guys, I'm starting a new facial routine. So, I'm investing in facial products. So, this is one of them. And I am going to be using this witch hazel as a toner. Another facial product that I got was... Is the Neutrogena Smoothening Clear Turmeric Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. And I already started to use this. Um, the turmeric, it's very strong, like it smells very high. But I know that this is good for removing, well, hy hyperpigmentation, removing dark spots, um, dark circles, etc. Right? I think this is a new product from the Neutrogena line because it has new on it. I'm not sure how long it's, it's been out of but yeah i'm really excited to see how that works on my skin i also got the coconut and hibiscus curl and shine conditioner share moisture yeah share moisture conditioner um i'm currently using this uh, this line in share moisture so this is the curly hairline and this is actually the first time that i am um, trying it and to be totally honest, I'm, I am not a huge fan of the curly hairline in Share Moisture. I've tried their, their styling products for that line and um, yeah, it's mm, yeah, not, not for me. The next thing I got while well, I already opened it was the two pack Gillette Stain Care Dry Skin. It's for dry skin. Um, it's a shaving gel. Um, so I usually get this out. I believe this is like the female version. So I also got the six pack of Dove soap, um, pink rose and the scent pink rose. It's been a minute since I saw this scent in Pennywise. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of this particular scent, but whatever. It will get the job done. Next. I got the Share Moisture Raw Share Butter Deep Treatment Mask. And this is how it looks. I already used this. This sand, let me tell you guys. So it has a very strong, I don't know, like you smell the share butter. But then there's like a 
a weird a weird scent to it it's not like weird weird but it is it isn't like a sweet scent but this one is for dry damage or transition and here i decided to try this line because well my hair is dyed and i find it somewhat it's somewhat damaged um so yeah i just decided to see how that's uh, how that condition the conditioner works for me next i have a pack of stay free max this is the ones with the wings and guys if it is you use the stationary sanitary stationary <laughs> the sanitary pads i love how recently they um, the how to say they changed the packaging and they added in where you can just like rip off from the top so you can easily open it and just pull out what you need so i just love that feature in this in the, the packaging for stay free so well done makes life so much easier than just ripping the pack open next i got a vaseline lip therapy original so i am someone now I never used to be like a lip balm chopstick kind of person but now I, I can't live without it it's one of the things I, I cannot leave the house without and the one that I currently have it's very like greasy and I actually like the greasy effect so I decided to try the Vaseline line so I really cannot wait to see how this works next I bought well I actually got two in this year so this is the extreme wet line styling gel i have seen this product um from youtubers who i follow on on youtube duh. <laughs> and uh, i also realized that it was it is sold here in pennywise i was looking for like the bigger jar because we know this little thing isn't going to last right but anyways i got two and this is actually this is actually what I have in my hair right now with a cocktail with the other um cream of no not cream of nature cancel product um but yeah like I actually like that gel I, I like how it my hair came out and uh, it's uh, I like how my hair came out and most of all it's affordable so the next thing I got was the L'Oreal Eye Cream Eye Defense and this is for to reduce puffiness, lines and dark circles, right? So like I said, I am working on my skincare routine and trying to get my skin and my face under control and look like a decent human being. So I, I've tried this before because my sister, she used it in the past so I would have tried it before. So I decided to give it a try and because I really wanted something to help with puffiness because I don't know why but I just have like puffy eyes and it's not like you know I cry and my eye puffs up it's just puffy for no reason. So yeah I really wanted to try because of that and see the results that I get after. And what else is there? Okay so two more things. So the last well, second to last item I got was the Summer's Eve um, spray. So the ref refreshing spray and in the scent body powder. I, is there any other scents in this? Yeah, there are like a few scents but um, Pennywise don't really have a lot of the options. Most of the time you only get this scent for the spray, right? And lastly, I got an edge control gel. So I never really used to be an edge control kind of person. So I got this, the Eco Style Professional Styling Gel in the scent or flavor, or whatever, olive oil. And apparently this is a new one. Um, oh, you know, I didn't even read it, right? So for all hair types, moisturizers, tames frizz, no flake, no track, anti-itch. It smells. Yeah, it, it kind of smells like the the wet line extreme gel, and it's actually like a gel, um. So it's not like a grease where you know some edge control is like that. So 
Yeah, I cannot wait to try this gel. And now for the total amount that I spent. So I spent $548.85, guys. Usually, my Pennywise bill comes up to like... 200 to something for for the max so yeah i spent a lot um i spent a lot but like i said like most of the things that i spent like my facial products like those things were very expensive guys very very expensive as you can see from the prices um so yeah this is my pennywise haul i hope that you all i hope that you all enjoyed it and i do not know to be honest if I'll be doing this every month because like I said I don't buy a lot of things in Pennywise and I don't plan to go back Pennywise in February because your girl spends a lot in January <laughs> so maybe there might be a next one in March or February I don't know it depends but I'll see you guys in my next video bye